So, uh, I would like to talk about the multi-core processor. Uh, this is a content uh, introduction, multi-core, multi-core architecture, comparison, performance analysis, advantages and disadvantages, and also applications. So, uh, what is it actually, a multi-core processor? It is a single computing component with two or more independent actual central processing units. And also it's a computer processor on a single integrated circuit which two or more separate processing units call it cores and each of uh, reads and executes program instructions like add uh, move data and branch and also uh, these core processors support multi-threading or other parallel computing techniques so multi-core, multi-core processor, uh, as I said earlier, uh, often a single integrated circuit. Uh, and also we can see the dual core device, which is contain only two independent microprocessors. Uh, this is a type of course. Uh, we can see uh, two type of cores, a dual core and quad core. So in the dual core, we have two cores and the quad core, we have four cores. So this is the architecture of multi-core processors. Uh, so we can um, see the four types of core and each of them has individual memory. Uh, so this is a comparison, comparison between multi-core and single core architecture. So from these uh, two uh, types of cores, we can see that uh, the execution unit and cache uh, in the single core uh, is, for, uh, is consisted from one uh, unit and the uh, multi-core has uh, two of them. So this is a continuum of comparison. Uh, and also multi-core uh, architecture can be shared. Uh, I mean shared cache. Uh, it can be shared. So performance analysis. This is a table uh, from the website of Tom's Hardware. Uh, so uh, actually the diagram, uh, as we can see, uh, uh, there are four types of cores. Uh, single, dual, triple, and quad cores, which are examined from three types of action, like games, applications, and synthetics. Our view, the highest performance belongs to the quad core and the lowest to the single core. According to the diagram, quad core has a top performance in the category of synthetics, about 247%, but other two types have almost the same result, 182 and 185 percent in the single core we can see an equal execution about 100 percent from all categories however triple core and dual core processors are much more faster than single core in any aspects thus triple core implements three directions quicker than dual core in order of 47 14 and 25 percent so uh, as we know, uh, uh, so each thing has their advantages and also disadvantages. Uh, we will start from the advantages. Uh, so multitasking productivity is the first advantage of the multi-core processors and also it's work faster uh, for certain programs. Uh, and it will increase the security of the PC and the signal between different CPUs, uh, which will travel shorter distance. So as we know, uh, anything has their advantage too, and sorry, disadvantage too, uh, and the multi-core processor isn't exception. They get only 16 uh, to 18% more speed. And also the computer works uh, depends on uh, what you are actually doing. 
So, and also they are more costly and difficult to manage and deploy. So to sum up, uh, I would like uh, to tell about uh, some applications like video editing, uh, encoding, 3D games, and also the powerful graphic solutions. Thank you.